it's an update. All right, so I know I haven't really done a whole lot in these past couple of weeks. We've been super busy at work and I've been super busy at home. It's cold here now, so I have to winterize everything and kind of prepare for winter. We've been so busy at work, I haven't actually been down here in the last like week and a half to do anything whatsoever. This is the first thing that I've done. I am not much further along in the Baytream stuff. I'm actually just super behind on everything down here. Having said that, I do have most of the Batrium wiring done and the next video, which should be out in the next day or so, it's super long, but it's super long because it pertains to my power wallet. Some of it will be kind of for everybody else, like some of the wiring, but it's really just Longmon wiring. That's it. That's all I did. That's all I tackled in this video is took care of the Longmon wiring only and it is 40 minutes. I mean, I do show you how to extend some of the wires and I re-sleeve everything and then solder them all on and blah, blah, blah. If you wanna watch it, great. If you don't wanna watch it, that's cool too. It's 40 minutes long, just an FYI, so don't be shocked if it doesn't give you a crap ton of information because it doesn't. It really just kind of pertains to my server rack and how I'm tackling the wiring. Like I said, I haven't done a whole lot. We've just been super busy, I've been super exhausted, and that's it. So this is the next update. It's not a huge update or anything like that, but I did get a couple of things in, well, I got one thing in the mail, two things in the mail, but I'm not gonna do one of them right now. I have to do it maybe tomorrow or the next day. I got one thing in the mail because everybody's kind of talking about the spot welding stuff, and Aaron from the DIY Powerwalls Facebook page sent me over his Arduino. Arduino? Is that how you say it? Arduino? spot welder that he made and he sent it over to me so I could take a look at it with a couple extra PCBs so I can make one, copy it, and then send him back his so he can continue using it. So we'll take a quick look at that. And I got a little box of batteries from my recycler, a box of like 15 or 20 of these medical packs. And first time ever, these are the huge cells, which are like, um, I forget the number on them. I don't know. I just saw this and I want to open it up real quick just to see what it is because I, my first, first one, first one. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you what the spot welder looks like. All right, so we have a picture. He actually uses a car battery and like a small power supply to kind of power the little circuit here and uses the battery to actually do the spot welding itself. All right, so here's a close up view. Uh, the PCBs down here, this is just the top and bottom view. Same with these. You only need one of each. Uh, I just figured I'd show you what both sides look like. You do need to order all the parts for the actual spot welder and build it all yourself. But I do plan on building this here, well, as soon as I can. I've got a lot of other stuff going on at this current moment, so this might be just a little bit of time. But if anybody is interested in this project, I'll probably do a video on this as well since the spot welders are are so popular right now. I'm gonna pull off this top one here just so you guys can see what it, what it looks like underneath. There you go. Okay, so there's nothing really on the bottom. Just the top has everything on it. It doesn't look like there's anything below it. It's just a aluminum heat sink, basically. It doesn't actually look very hard to build at all. I think I could whip this together pretty quickly. You do have to order all the parts and I think it's around 30 bucks and I don't know if that includes this guy or not. And I don't know if that's for me to keep or not either, I'll have to find out. But he uses a 5 volt power supply from the wall which powers this whole circuit and then he uses a car battery to actually make the spot weld. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if there's another way to do that. All right, so that's pretty much what all of this looks like. And he does have some pretty big copper contacts right here as well. So it looks pretty heavy duty. So this should, I would imagine, spot weld damn near anything. Hopefully it's delicate enough to do like the fuses or fuse wire. I guess I'll have to ask him to find out to make sure. So we have this in the future. Just some soldering skills. Oh, 12 volt, sorry, 12 volt. I think I said five volt, but it says 12 volt right here. All right, so that spot welder looks pretty easy to do. I mean, I guess you just need a little bit of soldering skills, but it really doesn't look too hard to do. I'll probably take some like really good pictures of it so I can at least send it back to him so he can continue using it because I think I've already had it for a couple of weeks. 
Sorry. And I, I, have, I haven't had any time whatsoever to do it. And this is exactly what happens. Whenever you start getting into a project, you get really busy at work and you can't do anything else. <sighs> and that's why I want to do YouTube full time. But I'm pretty far away from that, so it'll be some time. All right, I do want to cut this guy open and take a look because I've never seen these before. Oh, I got gypped a battery. There's only four. Oh, look at that. A little board. A little BMS board. I wonder what the voltage is right now. Where's my meter? Where is my meter? 6.67 volts. Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh, 6.4. There you go. So it's full charged. I kind of don't want to take it apart. I kind of want to keep it so I can use it for something what is the actual size of these i can't remember 26 millimeters there you go all right well that's cool i kind of like it i might keep it in this i might not we'll see what happens where are all my freaking tools at jesus have you ever seen any batteries like that i don't think they're rechargeable okay so yeah, that was another pointless, pointless video right there, wasn't it? All right, so yeah, I don't have much of an update. I am trying to get down here. I don't know, I know. I at least wanted to let you guys know what's going on here. We're super busy at work. It's now freaking colder than cold outside. So I had to do a little kind of like winterization prep around here. Winterizing the boat, making sure the snow blowers and stuff are all ready to go and put away all the summer stuff and get all the winter stuff out. I know you think you can get all that done in like one day, which I did most of it in one day, I think. But there's other stuff. I did other stuff too. If anybody didn't know, I am an aircraft mechanic. I work inside of a hangar and we take the entire jet apart to look at it, fix it, and put it back together. So a lot of the times, I am I end up like this working in small areas and I'm either on my tippy toes or stretched reaching at one thing you know and it just it's just hard on the body that's what this airplane has been a lot of is a lot of that so yeah I am working on the batrium stuff I will get back down here and finish it up so I can use it and stuff I don't know. I mean, I haven't made a video in like two weeks and I feel like I'm a little out of practice. Yeah. And then I'll finish up this Batrium stuff and then I can start doing some of the other videos that I had already planned. I did get an Opus from Banggood. <laughs> Uh, I need to do a video on that still. Um, all right, so yeah, I've had all sorts of plans to do videos. It's just whenever you get busy at work, everything else kind of halts here. But that's how it goes, right? All right, so I will see you guys hopefully here in the next couple of days. Don't, don't be scared to watch a 40-minute video of me just putting stuff together and wiring stuff. That's really all it is. But make sure you check it out. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. To kind of go through it. And I, I like 17670s or something. Um, oh, hopefully he knows that's broken right there. And then...